Live Jerome Party Studio. Live Jerome Harden Studio. Live from Jerome Harden Studios. This is the last of my discast. I will say about so you sit back, relax, chillax, and I'll see you later. What's up on JR? You sure alright? Let's get started. Live from Jerome Harden Studios. This is the latest on my update that I'm going to tell you about. So as you sit back, relax, chillax, and I'll tell you the latest. Hello, my name is Jerome J. Harden, founder and graphic designer of Jerome Harden Studios. So, um, before we begin this topic, I want to uh, wish y'all happy for February 22nd, 2022, which is on a Tuesday. So, all twos what you're going to celebrate about and all that stuff but you know i just wanted to let you guys know with all that stuff and okay let's get to the topic so the topic we're going to talk about today is a uh, long-running animated series um and what that means um here in america we have some um cartoons that has been running for a long time non-stop since it began production many many decades ago um the long anime series, which I'm talking about, is such as The Simpsons, Family Guy, um, Arthur, SpongeBob SquarePants, and uh, of course, Fairly Odd Parents. If it were to continue to run, it will be one of the longest anime series behind uh, SpongeBob on Nickelodeon. So, um, yeah, the reason I wanted to talk about it is it just uh, this topic came on my mind soon as um, you know the children animation animated series. Um, Arthur has been running for 25 years and it's a uh, creator uh, and uh, author who wrote these Arthur books named Mark Brown. Um, he talks about these stories where he tells the real truth. He sh shows children um, the real life situations um, of what's going on around the world and stuff involving social media, real life family situations, schooling, uh, helping friends out and all that stuff. So. Um, yeah, and also, that's what I'm talking about, one of the longest anime series um, ever run in the children's industry. Um, behind that, it was Spongebob Squarepants. He still continued to run today. Uh, Spongebob Squarepants aired back in 1999 when, um, at first, he was a super sponge that, uh, he was a sponge that lived underwater with his friends. Um, and then um, after a while, and he has uh, two other spinoffs, which is called the Patrick Star Show and the other Camp Coral. And keep in mind, Camp Coral is not 2D like the rest of the SpongeBob animated series. It's a CGI animation. So CGI animated is kind of 3D like, um, and it, ha it has been trending lately. Um, Actually, um, with the recent reboots coming out, it come came back as animation, such as the Rugrats came back in animation. Um, the SpongeBob version in Camp Coral came in an, uh, CGI animation. You know, it's crazy on how um, <coughs> people look up as live action and CGI animation as a cheaper way to produce shows like that. So. Um, some people may like it, some people not. So everybody has their opinion and a lot of people be complaining on why the cartoons are going to see giant even though the show is a reboot it and they didn't even want the reboots in the first place. So um we're gonna talk about that in the next newscast. Um I have a uh, um written on the my notes over here, so let's talk about this topic. Um now about the long running animated series, what makes it so great? What makes it run uh, more than 20 years, more than 30 years? You know, it's just like, you know, these people continue to produce shows nonstop. Um, it's feel like they're never tired. Even the voice actors are keeping it up, keeping their characters voices in check, which is a very good, very good right there. So it's very amazing how they can keep shows running for a long time. And do you know why shows are still being produced today? Um, the reason the shows are still being produced is because of the success in the shows. Um, 
they pu push out much merchandise they push out um advertisement they push out um they promote other products such as burger king walmart all that stuff they help promote other brands so that was the reason why the animated series has been on the long run for 30 plus years so um again um if you're watching this newscast right now and I mentioned that Family Guy has been running since 1999 and still producing episodes today. The Simpsons has been running since 1989 and still producing episodes. SpongeBob since 1999 and still producing. I don't know if they're producing episodes or not, but they have two spinoffs. Um, Arthur um, behind SpongeBob, uh, which is a children animated series. Arthur is in, has ended yesterday, actually, because... They aired out for the four last episodes. Um, the last episode, they were supposed to be grown up, going their separate ways, starting new lives, or whatever, just like us. Hopefully, um, they're not experiencing the same things that we're experiencing right now, such as hate, inflation, evictions. You know, people arguing, people getting robbed, and all this stuff. You know, people dying from the virus. You know, it's go it's getting crazy right here. So, I mentioned all these shows. Um. I mentioned that, um, you know, like I said, um, Arthur and his friends are all grown up now and they are not uh, doing the show anymore. So, um, yeah, I think, you know, the Arthur, <coughs> Mark Brown, is a, I think he's, I think he's retiring. I don't know on why he decided all of a sudden to cancel his show, but it's his work anyway. So we don't have no control over it whatsoever. So. Whatever he wants to do, I respect his wishes. So, um, yeah. Thanks, Mark Brown, for the 25 years you gave us, Arthur. So, um, now, um, what I was about to say. So, um, what's going on tomorrow when I get done with this newscast? You know, as far as reboot, you know, the Proud Family reboot, reboot is supposed to start tomorrow. So, um, I'm going to probably going to be rushing it pretty soon and I'm probably going to do a review about it pretty soon as well. So if I do be sure to be on the lookout as well. So, um, yeah, that's why I wrote down on the notes and, um, the next newscast, um, I'm going to be talking about possible revivals, um, and looking, I'm going to be looking into the courage to cowardly dog, Jimmy Neutron, Ed and a, which I highly doubt they, they're going to be rebooted, but the Powerpuff Girls um, did have a reboot, and now they're working on a second reboot, which is a live action. And the reboot one in 2D animation is pretty much, uh, well, I'm about to say that, you know, let's put it this way. You don't want to really want to watch it. And I've been hearing that the live action is going to be pretty interesting to watch. So, um, if they do ever, uh, um, produce it or release it, um, it's going to be pretty interesting. I can tell you that much. So, yeah. And, uh, what I'm talking about with these new animations and all that stuff, um, I'm going to be talking about animation errors, broken prop lines, um, uh, inappropriate stuff that shouldn't be on children's TV shows and all that stuff. So, um, be sure to be on the lookout for all this, um, stuff that I'm going to be talking about. And it's going to be a very interesting topic. And, you know, it's going to be very interesting. So, um, I think that's all I'm going to talk about. But before I end this newscast right here, like I said, happy Tuesday, which is February 22nd, 2022. And I hope, you know... It's a fun day for y'all, especially around this Huntsville area, if it's supposed to rain. Um, if it's rain or not, snow or whatever, just be sure to enjoy it uh, as much as you can. Um, and, yeah, so, um, yeah, so, all right. So, that's what I wanted to talk about. Uh, I just wanted to let you know about the long, uh, animes, long running anime series. Um, Besides Arthur, that will be that has ended. Just wanted to let you guys know about it if you didn't even know about it. So, yeah, we're gonna miss you, Arthur. 
You've been great to us. We'll still watch your shows and stuff. We know we're you're going to do reruns or whatever, but you're not making new episodes, which is totally understandable. 25 years is a very long time. So, um, if, you know, like I said, like everybody says, nothing can't last forever. So, um, if Arthur leaves, you know, we still have Simpsons. We have Family Guy. Um, we still have Wild Crabs. We still have the, all these uh, shows that we can look forward to to shape our children's mind. As long as there's no twerking or stupid stuff to teach children, that is. So let's keep faith that all these new shows can produce, can teach as much as the older shows did. I can pray. I can pray that's going to happen. I can pray much. That's all I can do. So, um, I'm going to end this newscast right here. And I hope you enjoyed this topic that I was talking about today. And I'm going to see you next time in another time. So, I'm Jerome Harden, founder and graphic designer of Jerome Harden Studios. I'm out. Peace.